Welcome to Easy A Homeschool Academy. Let's learn about bats. Bats are vertebrates, which means they have a backbone. They belong specifically to the vertebrate group of mammals, and they are the only mammal capable of true flight, making them unique among animals. Bats have unique physical features that help them survive and thrive in their environments. Bats vary greatly in size. The smallest, like the bumblebee bat, is about 1 inch long with a 6 inch wingspan, while the largest, like the flying fox, can have a wingspan of up to 6 feet. Bat wings are made of stretchy skin called patigium, which is thin but strong. The wings are attached to their elongated finger bones making it look like they have extra long fingers. Bats have a layer of fur which can be brown, black, gray, reddish, or even a bit orange. Some species have sleek fur while others have thicker, fluffy coats. Many bats have large sensitive ears that help them hear well and use echolocation to find food and avoid obstacles in the dark. Some have small rounded ears, while others have long pointed ones. Bats' eyes are generally small compared to other mammals, but they are not blind. Most bats have good night vision and some fruit bats can even see color. Some bats have unique nose shapes like the leaf-nosed bat, which has a leaf-like structure on its nose. This helps them with echolocation by directing sounds. Bats have sharp teeth that suit their diet. Insect-eating bats have small, sharp teeth for crunching bugs, while fruit bats have flatter molars for chewing fruit. Bats have small, strong feet with sharp claws that allow them to hang upside down easily. Their feet are so adapted to this that they can hang without using much energy. Let's learn about the life cycle of a bat. The life cycle of a bat has several stages. Birth, pup stage. Baby bats called pups are typically born in spring or early summer. Mother bats usually have just one pup per year. The mother nurses the pup with milk just like other mammals. Growth and development. Pups are born blind and without fur, making them very dependent on their mothers for warmth and protection. Within a few weeks, they begin to grow fur, open their eyes, and learn to climb, learning to fly. Around three to six weeks of age, pups start practicing flying. This is an essential skill for survival, as they'll need it to catch food and navigate, becoming independent. At about six to eight weeks, most bats are ready to leave their mothers and start hunting on their own. They join the adult colony and learn to find food, often through echolocation. Maturity Bats reach adulthood and are ready to mate at around 1 to 2 years old, depending on the species. They then become part of the breeding population. Hibernation Many bats hibernate in winter, especially those living in colder areas. During hibernation, their bodies slow down to save energy, allowing them to survive when food is scarce. Lifespan Bats can live surprisingly long for their size, with some species reaching 20 to 30 years in the wild. They go through this cycle yearly, often returning to the same roosting sites to hibernate, give birth, or gather as a colony. Now let's learn some more quick facts about bats. Bats are mostly nocturnal, meaning they sleep during the day and are active at night. Many bats use echolocation, a form of seeing with sound, to find food and navigate in the dark. Most bats love eating insects, which helps keep bug populations under control. Some bats, like fruit bats, prefer eating fruits and help spread seeds, which helps plants grow. Bats pollinate plants like bananas, mangoes, and the agave plant. There are more than 1,400 different species of bats around the world.
Vampire bats are real, but they mainly feed on animal blood, not human blood. They live in Central and South America. Bats hang upside down to rest, using their feet to grab onto branches and cave ceilings. Bats live in groups called colonies, which can range from a few dozen to thousands of bats. Some bats, like the Brazilian free-tailed bat, can fly at speeds of over 60 miles per hour. Bats have excellent hearing, helping them locate food and avoid obstacles in the dark. Bats are not blind, and most bats don't carry rabies. They're often misunderstood, but very helpful creatures. I hope you learned something about bats today. Thanks for taking this learning journey with me. Until next time. As always, thank you for watching. Tell us what you want to see next. Email easyahomeschoolacademy at yahoo.com. Like and share our videos. Please subscribe to our channel.